It's like, ask in your head, ask yourself the question. Yes. It's not a be now conscious, like intention, intentional thinking. But again, I'll say it's like what I like conscious, pay attention to that split moment after the question mark. I like that because I think you're right. We automatically answer questions and don't think. It's like there's two different answers. It's like, well, it looks like one answer. But then if I look for, if I keep looking, he says, I can, I feel a different one in my heart. And then I, I thought, hey, well, why don't I just ask my heart too what my heart wants? But if we think of power, we think of all the force that goes into it, the strength, the masculinity. Just after the question, now this is important. Maybe you didn't ask yourself the whole question. Maybe you didn't wait for an answer. Maybe it was just automatically there. And then you can say, oh, did this answer come from my head or my heart? Am I confident? Sure, on yourself, you're forcing it. And it's like, oh, got to let all that go. But if we're, if we're talking out loud, if it's not silent around us, we can't hear these little voices, the changes in these little voices. When you lose it, like type it in the chat, say, I'm lost. Right? It's like a meaning like you, you couldn't hold on to the word anymore. You, you went to another thought. But it was uh, one of my dogs came and brushed up against me, against my leg, where I was <laughs> focusing up in the upper part of the body on. We can't get everything. Like we can't retrain everything. Does that, does that word feel right? Like, does that feel good? Because it's the feedback. Because once it comes out, it's completely different energy than what it was generated with. And it's a two-step problem, three steps, really. It's like a, I ask the question, I get the answer, and then I say the answer. And now that we've gone through this process, the word stretch comes up even more. Yeah, but I... When we put awareness on things, we slow them down, we pause. It's the space that we can put the awareness on. We're resting, so we're not forcing things, right? We're not grasping. We're just floating along with it, being like, oh. I, think it, I didn't get the answer right away. And yes, G. Well, say it's the first time that we begin this, though. We, we won't, because our automatic just feels good to just... You ask a question, I'm just going to answer it. You ask a question, I'm just going to answer it. Right? We've talked about it. It's like we've avoided the emotions. That's what we're doing. When Will asked what's in my heart, he was asking the question to his heart. And we, there's always has to be an answer. There's always an answer. Now, doesn't mean that answer will show up right now. And what's awesome is every time it's different. If you don't, if you just do your automatics, it's just fixed, right? It's predictable. And when you start allowing for space before that answer, and you're not predictable, people don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, that's where that's where it comes from. Like it, it comes from the automatic. It's like taking every moment on its own merit. Which then it's like presence. It's like what is my presence? Seconds later, and then I, my mind went right to the chat. It's like oh. Like, I got to look at the, like, chat. It said chat. is like to ch chat it in. And it's like, oh, look, I lost mine. That's why awareness is so good, because it's like, oh, there it is. Oh, I'm grabbing on for that. Oh, I'm expecting an answer. Oh, I'm forcing it. It's almost like, yeah, it's like it, it gets stuck. It doesn't flow. We also say it's not just force, but we're also editing. We're editing. Rather than interpreting what is really actually there in the split second moment. Whoa, it's only supposed to last a split second. My it's been going on ever since <laughs> in the body. Word question, uh, word question, word question. The insights, the hits, the words, the feelings, we don't know why we get them, but that's what we get to look at. It's like, oh, what are they telling us? Like I observed it and your experience and I saw I saw it too, you know, like in in indecisive in decision so it's like you're and you have maybe you haven't decided yet but it's it's okay you're actually in so you the wet to, came first the chicken or the egg it's sort of like that's mm -hmm. going on up there mm -hmm. yeah is, if if you're wanting that you could ask yourself polarity questions 
Exactly. So if, I, if I'm looking for words, so then it's like, okay, nothing shows up. So you, you recreate the question. You reshape yeah. the question. So it's like, oh, and it's like I didn't get the answer I wanted. So yeah, so now I reshape it. I ask another way, another question, another perspective. Because you didn't, you didn't have to have the answer from the first one. You've learned so, that it's okay. Some people still have not learned that it's okay to remember. not know the answer. The, the thinking is so limited. So the the, the yeah. thinking is like the pointing finger. But what, what, so that aspect of you that is connected to everything and through all time and space. Wound up in a loop is is the word the question or is the question the word? Like we're we get to circle the drain now, Heinz. Thank you. It's sort of like that infinite word versus question. Do, do, do. What's your word of the day? That was the question. So I'm looking for the word. <laughs> Why am I looking for the question? It's probably the density. Yeah, probably a good word. It's just like you just see the. I just see the polarity in like everything. It's like it's. It doesn't want to answer the question. <laughs> so it's creating, and I'm not saying that that's what happened. I'm just saying. Well, I think it's because my head's so empty that whatever the last thing is said, it's sort of repeating in there and. It just started, what's the word of the day? What's the word of the day? Yeah, like you just said it in the second to last sentence. But now I'm starting to listen to all that you've been saying, so I've been all around now. But I, I, I think you I think you just said it, seriously. Like, you just said it. I got a note. I'll, I'll just give you a little bit of a story why, like, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, a couple, two to three weeks ago. I got a new notepad and I'm almost halfway through it now. There's so much inside there and I feel like if I don't write it down and get it out. Well, I tell my do. son also, write it down when it's, it's having all these questions. I tell him, write it down, get it up. You know, learned a lot of really cool things and concepts. It's like there's all this noise inside and it's really just the this inner child that, thank you for your word, empty. Because that's kind of my desire is to be empty. And it wasn't by choice. It was actually the system who made me do it because they said, you are not allowed to go to take us to court anymore. Well, take the edge off and bring me a little more into focus. And it is helping. The way I sort of get into neutral is question everything. Everything my mind comes up with, just question it. It'll start thinking about it and it sort of switches you into neutral. And and you attach to whatever someone else diagnosed you as. Uh, and what I heard you explain, it's like well, you're connected to that, but then you're also noticing your triggers. And so you're trying to break out of it, but then you're saying you're attached to it. So again, there's your infinite loop. It's like we have them everywhere. We just don't see them. We're blind to them. And if you look at it, you say it's every fall. So it can be your connection to that side of the stars or magnetic pull that that has on your mind mm-hmm. is sort of giving you extra energy i would appreciate extra energy oh, yeah it's it can be a lot you know like and people aren't used to that so yeah and at some point the positives have to turn into a negative right like if we think of the flow if like energy flows one way and then it flows back the other way at some point it's got to stop to change directions it has to it, like if you're flowing one way to change directions you have to stop I mean, it's an important point to get because that's the neutral. We don't give it much space, but that's where all the space exists. And so that's the importance of noticing like, oh, where are my thoughts, my my words? Where are they charged? Oh, and, and look, do you see it's like, I, I don't care if it's a positive or negative attachment, right? It's just not neutral. Tell me about that attachment, right? That's what we go into. So when we put your focus on it, then you can look at it and then you can see it for what it is. And it's kind of like I worked this yesterday. It's like we've all heard the word humility, right? Yep. Like, see, there's your loop again, Heinz, right? That's the loop. Now, the point is, is that we stepped over it. We didn't go deeper and humility requires deeper. And so it's like if love, it's like humility is not the, not the end result. It's like love is. And even love is charged as we think of love. And it's like, well, can I experience a neutral love? It's like, yes, that's the aim because it's the attachment that keeps us attached, <laughs> right? The attachment keeps us attached. And there can be other emotional states intertwined with love, like oh, sad love, love happy love. 
if there was ever a question, it's like that is the most amazing question to ever ask. Because, right, it, it addresses right now, it's addressing it towards the future, and it's like, well, curious, it, it like has curiosity baked into it. Uh, like that takes, I hope that <laughs> takes the pressure off of it, because it's like, oh, I just made it up. And then, and then it's like, well, why am I so, like, why did I, why, why am I fighting letting this go? And anticipate an answer. And, and look, timing, timing, timing's another, like that was one of the attachments. And, and, and we like challenge, like some people like challenges. So then it's like, that becomes the challenge. That's the key. It's like, oh, so I've got to give it words. Yes. Because my, my habit has been to uh, edit it into other words. And it's like, oh, what is that real? So finally, the essence of me gets to put words to what it's trying to grow. If we don't give it words, it just stays in the same spot. And then it gets frustrated. And there'll come a point when you ask yourself a question and there's no answer. And you start to get frustrated. It's like, oh. Attachment and there's detachment. And those are actually a binary, like a polarity. Yeah, when you can walk in the neutral, if you look, think about it, if you walk in neutral, you can turn, let's call it minds to the right. So I can turn to the right and I'll be in joy, bliss, happy, right? It's positive. The right is positive. Think of all the positive words that are positive. It's like, isn't that, like, aren't the things that you want inside the positive? Yeah. Yeah. And then, so you're walking neutral, right? And we're walking neutral and you just got to turn over there to the right and be like, oh, there's positive, right? So now we're back at neutral. We're going straight. And then we look to the left and it's like, oh, there's all the negative. So in neutral, the edges don't hold me, right? That's what ten, most of us are attached to the edges, the edge of positive or the edge of negative. It's like, oh, I can't have any negative in my life. And it's like, well, how would you know you had any positive then? And so it's like neutral. Do you see how neutral is like de- cares, but it's detached. And all of that takes place in a split second after a question is asked. There's attachment, there's detachment, and there's judgment of the attachment. There's judgment of the detachment. It just, it actually doesn't matter. It's the it's the attachment to the belief that it matters. Yeah. And it's like, oh, that, you just made that up, which means you can make up another one. Now, it's structure. So it's like we just experience, you experience structure all the time. You just don't have words for it. It's like a question is asked. A question is a structure. See, I, I, and I got, and we get so attached that if people don't answer the question, so it's like someone asks you a question, don't answer it, just sit in silence. And that's why wonder is such a thing because it's like, oh, yeah, it could be that. We think we can't go back. And it's like, well, in a way, we can ride the emotion back. Thanks. It's kind of like this conversation is begging the question, what is neutrality? My, my feedback doesn't matter. It's what is will say neutrality is. For me, the, the, the word neutrality sounds almost like new reality. Beep, beep. Neutral is beep. Flatline, it doesn't move. Uh, yeah. So it's the charge. That's like what matters to me in the neutral conversation is to notice the charge. Now, neutral is what I want. Neutral is what I want. Now, I have to be careful that neutral is what I want because neutral would mean that neutral could also mean is that I don't, there's no, nothing has any care. So that's what I say, like neutral is like in the background because I can see them coming. I can see my automatic coming and I can say, oh, I change it before I go there. I still, well, I'm, when I'm in neutral, like I'm often am, I still keep my positive. Okay. Because that's where the focus in the neutral is, is closest to the positive, to going up, not down. Don't really accept, hey, he's going in neutral. What? We need to get give him a charge. We can't have those yeah. batteries with no charges. What if I just choose to be neutral? Like, I'm, I'm, in, I'm allowed, I'm entitled as a human being to choose that. Yeah, but, get, but getting to neutral, you have to go through the extremes so you know what the extremes look like so you can avoid them. Imagine you could just put your car in neutral and it would still be driving the way you wanted it to. Then you don't need to turn on the car or anything. You can actually push the car when it's in neutral. It's because in that silence, as we are like going through our internal, like going through ourselves in the silence, and if we set the intention, say like, oh, this is going to be, this is my being for the day, my being for the day. Like you'll, you'll learn, you'll learn to live into that. It's like your your being shifts, and so if your being is shifting, it's 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 like moving one percent 
of either the one percent uh, like that's the you know, like that's what neutral does is it look so many people want to focus and change the words that you use it's like eh, yeah but the being is what's really where those words come from and it and it's in the feeling like your thoughts and words have feelings mm -hmm. you've you've we've attached feelings to them so it's like feelings are everywhere it, it, feelings is our space now we cluster them, we we chunk them together as and give them the same feeling, but they're not. They're all every every moment is. I think every moment is a different. And I even looked at the word choice I got from my head this morning was power. I'm like, well, that could have a positive or a negative spin <laughs> word today. That's my word. It's freedom. And and so will like the next step. Then it's like freedom. So it's like, what action do you need to be in to see or to feel freedom? Like, what is? It's like as if I'm observing all of it. I'm observing everything without trying to change it, affect it, or control it. It's like it's look at this a... art on the wall. It's like it's beautiful. Look at this curiosity. Curiosity is close to it. Right? Curiosity is close to it. Uh, unfortunately for me, curiosity has still a judgment attached to it. Because you're just observing what's there. You're not, you're not judging it. Now, as soon as I put attachments, as soon as I put my attachments to it, then it's like, oh, then it's no longer wonder. Exactly. Or it doesn't have to always be a judgment, uh, but it, sorry. Yes, it is. Because judgments can be positive and negative. It's the art. Uh, it's the it's the act of judging, which is the comparison. Comparing attachments. Sorry, that's what judgment is. Judgment is comparing attachments. Observing without the judgment, like dropping the judgment. That's the first step. It's like to note it is like a call it. It's like, oh, I'm judging you. I'm judging myself. Uh, or it's like, wait, you're judging me. Yeah, like all of those are fine. It's but you know, like you don't say it out loud, but it's like catch yourself doing it because then you can say, "Oh, is that how I want?" It's like, "Is that what it is?" And then it's like, "Is that how I want it to be?" It's like, "No, that's not that. That's not very good." It's like I'm, I'm judging their worst moment to my best. It's like, "Oh, that's that's not how I want to be." And so it's like, "Oh, well, then let me drop that judgment." Like, how do I drop that judgment? It's safe that I don't have to judge, and it's like, oh, when they when you're un when the autopilot in the background realizes that, like you you help you put focus on it, so your unconscious can see it, it can let go of that pattern. Oh, oh okay, that I see that it's not. I don't need to hold on to it. We, that that we only like that that next level awareness is that you see what I can't. Thinking that that way, if that's even possible, it's like the you know it's the judgments that hold us back from from. Hold, may hold back people from choosing to meditate like this. And I, I notice that there's a there's a service in this. There's like a a giving energy. There's a giving and a receiving, and there's in like an inter. So it's like it's it's a gift to be able to share this space. I, I always feel like I'm just this like self centered little boy. Like, and that and that comes from a guy that's never good enough. So. <laughs> and I actually came from a guy who's never wrong. <laughs> so, have you reaped the benefits of being wrong with your wife, Jesse, <laughs> or telling her she was right? <laughs> you, weren't, you weren't wrong. You just told her she was right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Not, not in the way I expected. Let's put it that way. And yes. So here, I, I've got to share an ironic story with you. Um, it was a couple. It was a couple Saturdays ago, and I I shared I shared about my pattern, right, of not being good enough, right? Like that's a it's an internal pattern, and aware of it helps me see the frustration, right? I hear I build into a frustration about it, uh, and and so I, I share this, right, and and I'm sharing in a group of men. Uh, and, and, and the rule is to only share one time, right? Uh, until everyone has a chance to share. Well, this was my, I shared twice. And so a guy that typically shares two or three times every morning came over to me and re in, in his way, gave me his coaching connected. Like he's a coach. He's like, Oh, here coach, like here, you can look how many followers he had like 4,000, 5,000 followers. Right. And he's like, he's like, follow me, blah, blah, blah. And then he started to tell me. Um, that I should only share one time. Shared about my pattern. I also shared that I made 40 million in my 30s. In here, because he came right up to my pattern and basically said, you're not good enough. 
that that is not that's like we're not good listeners we don't listen well first we don't listen to yeah. ourselves no but then we listen that's all we listen to is ourselves but isn't that so we ed as we listen to our automatics we edit the other person's yes yes <laughs> now now that now the thing about the the heart right the heart doesn't make any sense right and so our senses the editing senses say oh i can't say that i have to say this that's, that's robbing the whole present moment of what needs to be there and it's not always we're not always like we can't always be aware so it's uh, so that was about 2 hours on the importance of uh, like the, the, the little bit of silence that we can put to finding the word for the day I'm i sorry, thought my I'm word sure. was the power of love but it's actually neutrality Freedom. That's right. It's freedom because freedom, <laughs> neutrality is freedom to, to me. I, I said, I can't believe you already forgot your breakthrough. <laughs> nor, nor am I because you didn't walk away with the greatest coaching ever, right? Yeah. <laughs> where's, where's the, you don't, yeah. Yeah, you don't even remember the breakthrough. It's like, ah, oh, darn it. Because uh, a lot of, a lot of times I don't know who needs to hear what I got to say. And, and no other trigger can always go deeper because like it's always connected to something else so it's like oh it's like we, i don't i don't know that we ever we just reduce the intensity of the triggers often if you dig deep enough you'll wind up it's because of love some sort of love uh, just you know the the association of addictive it's like addicted has a negative association to it and if it's like addicted to love it's like oh that can't work and it's like why not man everybody comes up with the great ideas already I don't yeah. know. Why can't I have mine? Just repeating and regurgitating everyone else's stuff. Jesus, Will, you were you were uh, racking up a huge bill. <laughs> well, welcome to my life, man. Welcome to my life. Oh, uh, so I'm just fulfilling one part of your pattern. That's great. Uh, it's <laughs> like, uh, hey, you owe me. You owe me, Will. You owe me, Will. You owe me, Will. And I'm like, hey, I want more. I want more. I'm, I need to have more. Spin, 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 spin. You owe yeah, me, so Will. You, you owe me, yeah. Will. It's like your wife is going to leave you because of the debt. Oh, let's spend some more then. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm kind of trying to figure out because uh, I've always been very... The, the conditioning we made uh, of that hard work is the value. So it's like we can't yeah. have it without all the hard work. Yeah, it's got to be hard. It's mm -hmm. got to be hard. Like that's my structure. Yeah. As, soon as, you tie, as soon as you tie your pattern to it, you're back in your pattern. So that's that's why we have to go through a lot of shit, you know. To if you, you generate something that you it's all spent again, you know, within two or three years, it's, it's, not, it's nothing worth, you know. You have to create it for. Yeah, because for me, I'm still thinking that you haven't really done it yet because I haven't earned enough yet. Ever enough. since the transplant, I haven't earned enough to pay the rent. With me, you know, in the process, just because there was so much happening for myself and for everybody else, right? That's the reason why I'm talking about it is because you asked Jesse about a recipe. And then every day I'd like I wrote out a little mantra for myself. And every day I would read that a couple of times, you know, or say it in my head or whatever. Right? Oh, you'll never find that. That's not gonna happen. And any time everybody asks me, Well, where where do you want to go to? And I'd say, I don't know. It's the order, right? Not all, I mean, the, the way is like wonky, man. <laughs> Let's have a common, yeah. All, all, all we need is you know, a wishbone, a backbone, and a head bone. Happy bone could mean something else, but anyways. <laughs> it, it, it is. And on an, in another level, what that's also done, which was really interesting to me, is it brought an internal power. You, you said no to the pattern. That is perfect. Yeah. Because I would yeah. rather, I would, we can't say yes and to the pattern. Or ten, but here's the, ten, the tendency is to say no. So the yes and is the opposite of that. And so it's like to change that automatic is just to focus on that as one of the shortcuts. But then as you develop your skill, you're able to say, is like, no, there's certain things I do have to say no to. And really that's a lot of what people's objections are to saying yes. 